All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another Rogue 2 Siege battle. This is the continuation of the TWL Siege tournament, and we got Sparta here back on the battlefield. You know, I just saw an article that said why the U.S. military shouldn't uh, shouldn't glorify Sparta because they're a bunch of losers. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just one of those articles. It's just like, what are you talking about? Like, what is this? You're trying to... Is it basically attacking our history? You know what I mean? Anyways, it was... I think the, the journal... The journal was called, like, foreignpolicy.com or something. It's like, what? I don't know. It was weird. It's like, come on now. Like, Sparta's epic. Shut up. You know, just, just shut up. Anyways, this is the matchup. A little sidetrack there. This is the matchup between Ursus and Wolfgang. So... Uh, from the Crimson Chicken perspective, who do we want to win? Well, first, let's figure out how many points they're playing for. Let's start with Ursos, who's on attack, because last uh, the last round, they were on defense, and they won, but they only won one point, so that, put them, that puts them up to nine points. All right, so uh, looking at their team, they got Sparta, which is a plus three faction, and then they have Syracuse, which is a minus two faction. So in total, they're going to be playing for four points. So if they win, they will get themselves to 13 points total, which would make it very difficult for us to try to beat them in the next round. Because remember, the Crimson Chickens at this point, we have five points. All right, so we would have to get a lot of points, like eight points or something, uh, to, to be able to get in second place. So let's see what the defenders have. Uh, Wolfgang, they've got Epirus. Which Epirus is a plus one, and I think they they have Lusitani, if I'm not mistaken, which is a plus two. So uh, if they won with Epirus, so that's plus one plus the two from Lusitani, which would be uh, what would that be? Three plus two, so they'd get five points. So that would put them up to nine points. So yeah, obviously we want Wolfgang to win here. We got a little bit of a sally out here during the intro. We want them to win here because that would put them at 9. That would tie them with Ersos. But that would also put them behind... Um, that would put them behind... Um, what are they called? I, I don't think they knew at this point in the battle. But the the uh, Winged Wamsars, they would be behind them. Even if they win here. So that means win or lose, Wolfgang has been eliminated from the playoffs. <laughs> so again, I don't know... Maybe they were counting on us to win, and nine points would be a good enough for them to get in second place. But uh, yeah, either way, Wolfgang loses because nine points is not going to be enough. Because remember, the Winged Wimsars are at ten points. So what we're going to do, stay tuned for the very end of the video. We're going to analyze the points. We're going to see what happens here and what it's going to take for the Crimson Chickens to get into the playoffs. Uh, anyways, let's press play and get this battle underway. Definitely going to be a challenging battle for Ursos uh, because Sparta is a challenging faction to play as on attack because uh, they just lack a lot of versatility. They they just don't have uh, skirmishing capability outside of the Cretes and Archers. Uh, so it's very tough. No swords either. So they're very much a difficult faction to attack on. Probably more difficult to defend in a 2v2 situation uh, just because you know they're they're expensive the spark maybe they are losers maybe that article was right yeah so yeah they they that article tried to link it link it to like fascist like militaristic fascism i was like what like this is ancient history we're talking about here you know classical era what are you fascism didn't exist like what are you talking uh, sorry it just triggered me it triggered me anyways uh let's jump in um, and see the, <laughs> jump in the battle again. Uh, let's see what's going on here. So uh, they're going to take the same approach that we took on this map. They're going to attack these two uh, sides here, which is always good because it, it forces um, a nice flank here. So we'll see how... Oh, na they're sallying out some infantry. Look at this, Lusitani. They got Iberian swordsmen. Sorry, they also have swordswomen. It would be funny if they sent out their women... Like, here, send out the women first. They weren't good cooks anyways, you know. Just send them out. Here we go. Ooh, they're breaking down the walls all at the same time. That's risky because there is a glitch where it can... Okay, I think he's... Maybe he paused it here. Is that even possible? 
Did he glitch? It might have glitched here. We'll see. Because this is what sometimes it happens. It just doesn't break it down. You got to do it one at a time. And then over here, they're... Okay, over here, they're doing it one at a time. All right, so there we go. The They're going in hard right now, guys. This is a fast battle. We got some Spartan youths charging in against these levies. Illyrian levies. Which, I think the levies should win this one. We'll see. If they can get on the flank of them. You know, push around the flank. Here comes a uh, another push of Spartan youths. Alright, charge in, charge in. There we go. Nice, and we got some artillery coming down, but they're kind of wasting their shots on these levees. I would wait to use that artillery. Maybe they're afraid of a cav sally out harassing the artillery, which they do have some royal Spartans protecting these artillery pieces, so we'll see how that goes. And there they go. They're pushing on all fronts here. Pushing on all fronts. And Epirus is using all of their low-tier units to initiate this. But the Illyrian levies. On this side, we do have a pile-up of uh, Lusitani soldiers. Look at this. So he's using some swordsmen against just a bunch of Spartan youths. And a nice little angle he's got here with the Cretan archers. And they're going to open fire on the flank of those Spartans. little Greek on Greek action. And yeah, right away they're going to break them. So that's good start. A good start for Wolfgang. Remember guys, we're rooting for Wolfgang. God bless them. Because you know, they could have very easily have gone with like some really... They, they, they could have gone with some really crappy factions and tried to like get as many points as possible, which would make it more likely that Ursus would win their match. You know? Um... It's not for sure, but, you know, that's usually how it goes. The crappier the factions, the, factions, the more difficult it is to win. Um, so the fact that they went with some pretty good factions here uh, gives us hope. Gives us hope. I don't know if they did it for us or they just they didn't know how many points they really needed. Because I think we were playing these matches around the same time. So uh, we were playing the Winged Womb Sars and they were playing around the same time. Same day, couple different hours, you know, like it, we were... Oh, nice volley from from archers. So, yeah, I don't know what they were... I think they were hoping that we would defeat Winged Wimsars at least once. But even if we did, we still have a whole nother match. So, again, you know, props to Wolfgang for going for some good factions. And not going for the, uh, the playoffs. Maybe they just wanted to defeat these bears. I don't know, but... Today, we're all Wolfgang fans. We are all Wolfgang fans. Unless you're, you know, unless you're rooting for the Bears. So there we go. Nice, nice use of these Javis here. He's got some Thorough Spears. Classic unit here. Just chewing up this infantry. These Thorax Swordsmen are getting roughed right now. Spartans are charging in. They're going to try to charge in and silence those Thorough Spears. The Thorough Spears form square. Always a smart idea. And then we've got another flanking position by the Iberian Swordsman. So, a uh, very good job by the defenders using their angles, using little gaps to throw in jabbies and etc. Hoplites holding this flank. We've got Iberian Swordsman taking on the Thorax Swordsman. It does look like they finally made a breach. They've gained control of this area right here. And they're most likely going to gain control of this tower. Nice little volleys here and there. We've got another unit. Oh, Samnite Warriors. Now we're starting to see better troops from Epirus. Iberian Swords. Throwing their hate. Oh! More artillery fire, but they really haven't hit too much here. Let's see how many kills it has. Let's see, what do we look? What do we... 90? Okay, 90's not too bad. I guess every time I see it, uh, it's missing quite a lot. All right, Sam Knight Warriors using their javies, cleaning up the flanks here. Here comes another volley. Ooh, that one definitely missed right there. Oh, nice. 
Did they just crush the hoplites over here? Or did the hoplites fall back? They, no, this is a fresh unit. Oh, they they just crushed the hop. They must have got a bunch of volley fire. And now they've gained control of this area as well. They're making a big push. And guys, the balance of power is in favor of Ersas. Ersas. So, the bears. This is not a good... I mean, they've made some good fights. You know, like small victories, uh, Wolfgang. But uh, they are behind. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm wrong. The balance of power is in favor of Wolfgang. Because this is in the perspective of of Ursas. Ursas. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, here comes another charge of mercenary Sam Knight Warriors. It's gonna open up a gap here. They most likely don't have any ammo with these veteran shield warriors. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hoplites. Fighting their hearts out. Nice little throw spear throw into these Sam Knight warriors. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know. I kind I didn't know that Syracuse could bring Sam Knight warriors. That's pretty cool. It's cool to see them in blue. Oh, even over the building they're getting hit. Oh, now the archer fires blasting down on these Cretan archers. Cretan archers have 86 kills, which is pretty good. Man, I can't believe we're already down to like 16 minutes left in this battle. It is certainly a fast battle. Veteran Shield Warriors. Hanging back. They're in loose formation, in a column formation as well. Trying to absorb ammo, I assume. The Lusitani is not exactly the best at absorbing ammo. Now Sam Knight Warriors mixed in with Veteran Warriors fighting off the Royal Spartans who are down to 38 men. We're just looking at the reserves. They still do have a couple units here and there. Uh, Sparta, though, looks like they've pretty much committed everyone to this fight. So it most likely will come down to Syracuse to win this one. Yeah, so I think for the Bears to win this one, they've got to... They've got to break through somewhere. Maybe rush in some Cav. Get... You know, like, just somehow, like, inflict a lot of casualties with, like, a, like a nice cab charge. And uh, this is funny right here. Look at this. You see this, guys? Notice how the slingers are getting annihilated. It's funny because I remember when I uploaded my attack on this map. You guys rem remember against the Winged Wimsars when we got sallied out by Cav? People are like, Apollo, you idiot! You should have put your archers up on the walls! Well, if I did that, guys... This is what would happen. They would get focused down so quickly. Look at these guys are done. They're up there for a few seconds and they're dead. That's why you can't use these walls. It, you're just like, you're asking to get shot when you get up on these walls sometimes. So uh, that's what would have happened. Um, but yeah, anyways, all you people out there being too critical, what's your team? How far are you in the playoffs? Huh? Well, how far are you in the tournament? What, what team are you again? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, nice little stand here. We got nice flanking fire by the Spartan archers. This one just started. These Cretan archers just started. They only have three kills. Watch. It's going to skyrocket up. There it goes. Oh, only one? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. These uh, archers have 65. So they're trying to get some good flanking fire, and it's certainly working. Especially against Lusitani. They're just so weak to archer fire. Now we got some thorough spears setting up here. Let's see if they can get some good throws in. Well, they're going to throw on the flank here, and very nice. Get them on uh, sword, sword side. Oh, yeah. Get those throw spears going. You want to make sure, too, like, you use up all the ammo of the throw spears before they go into melee. Here's some Sam Knight warriors that are like, hey, throw spears, we're going to block your sight. Is that okay? 
Back over this way, an intense fight in the streets. Look at this. Sparta pushed in column-wise column, column with Royal Spartans. Thorough Spears are holding the line. I hope they've used up all their ammo. Archers in the back here. Let's see what they're going for. They're going for the archers in the rear. And they are racking up kills. Wow, wow, wee wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The archers are shredding. Oh, there's a scorpion over here. Oh, no. The scorpion's way too close to the front. They're going to get focused down by archer fire. Yeah, they're done. Scorpion's done. They got zero kills with the scorpion. Zero kills. A nice meaty stand. This might be a little... Like... I think they, um... They should have fallen back and waited. Just because, like, they're sitting ducks here and they're not really fighting, so they're just dying to archer fire. So I think Wolfgang should have just, like, fallen fallen back and then move in whenever you need more men. Yeah, they're just gonna get blasted. These are veteran shield warriors, too. They're pretty good. Oh my gosh. The Royal Spartans. How did they even get this far down? I guess they fell back. They're kind of letting them in so they can hit them on the flank, it looks like. Yeah. See how they get, got them surrounded now. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty good for Wolfgang, which is exactly what we want. And again, remember, guys, if Wolfgang wins or loses, they are out of the tournament. So, um... Yeah. That's crazy. But right now they're fighting they're fighting for uh bragging rights. You know? They don't want to go out quietly. Maybe they're fighting for us. Maybe they're fighting for the crimson chickens. But the fight is pretty intense here, guys, honestly. I don't know. I'm looking around, and I'm like, I don't really see a lot of reserves here. I mean, they're holding decently. See, like, I think they made a big mistake by leaving this this unit over here. Remember the veteran shield warriors? They virtually were useless because they just died to arrow fire. See, now would have been a good time to charge them in. Oh, wait. Oh, here's more infantry. Okay, good. Woo. I was like, I don't know, guys. I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of Wolfgang infantry. But he's going to send up more troops. And definitely, like, I would have focused Epirus' troops on this side and then Lusitani on this side. Because this wall will give you a little extra help against the arrows. Just a little extra help. Oh, look at this. Lusitani charged out some cav. Most likely killed a crew that used up all their ammo. Now they're going to look for another target. Nice job by Lusitani there, putting some pressure from behind. Fire on the enemy. We got veteran shield warrior, warriors using their javis on the thorough thorax swordsman. They're just changing. They're exchanging shots. Exchanging shots. comes a push of the thorax swordsman Fire on them. veteran shield warriors still waiting in reserve i assume the archers are out of ammo that's why they're no longer worried about being out in the open you might have to charge these guys in in the center De defeat these spartans really quick there they go he's got a some spartan use they're down to like 30 they should break here they just like walked in. Ooh, intense archer fire. Got some slingers. They're so good in these types of situations. These street battles where they got a clear shot. They're most likely going to... Oh, well, they're... Okay, these guys are out of ammo. So do, don't waste ammo on them. And, well, they're actually going for the infantry. So good for them. Good for them. Advance at speed. Break off. 
You've got this uh, Spartan unit surrounded. Some weird deployment over here. Weird, like, positioning of troops. Now Syracuse is charging, charging in. Wolfgang still has a lead in terms of the balance of power. They just got to keep it up as long as they don't make any big blunders here. As long as they don't do anything too crazily stupid. Um, they should win this one. They should win this. Royal Spartans. Charging in. This is the general. They're starting to run out of troops, guys. They've got some Hippias Lancers. It'll be interesting to see if he can use them at all. The question is, like, did the defenders have a lot of troops left to hold over here? Oh my gosh, look at all this archer fire. And once again, they're putting their men up on the walls, but why? They have ammo, but they're just going to get melted. They might get a couple volleys off. They have 129 kills. The archers decided to go for the general over here. Those lancers. Alright, Royal Spartans pushing in. I don't know, guys. I mean, again, the balance of power looks really good for Wolfgang, but I mostly am seeing archers here. What about the scorpion? 200 kills? What in tarnation? Wow. They must have been firing down this road. They got 200 kills. Wow. Good for them. All right. They're about to break over here. They're about to break. Their archers are open to attack. And I think that's what the hippiest lancers are going for. Now we got some javelin men. Do they have ammo? Oh, come on. Charge the javelins. You're going to sit there. Oh, no. Those Samnite warriors are going to get blasted. The Slingers opening fire. We got Epirus going through the gate with their general. And he's going to try to get a rear charge on the Samnite Warriors. Ooh, this is risky. Oh, man, I don't know. They still have a lot of infantry everywhere, guys. I mean, they do have to take on these Lusitani nobles, which are pretty good. But I'm looking around, and I just don't see how their balance of power is so much in their favor. Well, I guess some of the infantry started to die off here. Who did they? Veteran shield warriors? Alright, the slingers at this point, stand your ground and focus your fire on the hippiest lancers. And if you're Syracuse, you want to just like constantly charge. Charge, don't stop. No, what are you doing, slingers? Fire, 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 fire. Fire at the general. Oh, he doesn't charge after the archers? What is he going for? Oh, I guess he's trying to kill the Epirus' general. Not a bad idea, but I think he should get these archers first. Oh, my gosh. Hippias Lancer's down to 50 men from 80. I think he, he should have went for the archers right or the slingers right away. Go run them down. I mean, it'd be interesting to see this one finish close, but so far the bounce of power is looking like a cigarette. And that means one side is killing it, and that would be Wolfgang. As you command. As and if they win, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge for the Crimson Chickens. Absolutely huge. Yes, quickly, now! All right, here comes the general, Royal Royal Spartans, pouring in. This is, I don't, I mean, I don't know. This, I mean, they still have so much infantry. They have a lot of infantry, but this general, this Lusitani general is going off right now. And oh, this is nasty. These javelin men have 50 kills and they got a great flank on this swordsman. All right, they're breaking through, guys. What do they got? Oh, look at Syracuse's general. 
He like ran through. He's getting chased down by Epirus's general. The, the general's behind the lines. We got some slingers here that they should probably. Yeah, they're gonna break them. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna suck for the attackers there. A loss of a general. Yeah, I think that's. I don't know if that's the nail in the coffin, but I think what they're gonna do is just kite the enemy. Because they have so many skirmishers left. And then over here, they actually should win this infantry engagement. Unless Sparta sends some reinforcements this way. Which he is. So naturally... Oh, is this... Okay, he's going to leave his general here to fight. And then he's going to send in some veteran shield warriors to stop the flank. Come on, Wolfgang! Oh, nice little jabby throw before impact. And pretty soon, we should, we should see some... Some breaking from Ursas. Ursas. There we go. We're going to charge in. There we go. Yeah, I think they got it. I think they got it. Nice little charge by the Lancers. Or Royal Cav, I should say. And uh, it's a close one. It's certainly a close one, but I think it's quite clear who's going to win this. Oh my god, they still have ammo. Dude, which archers? These guys? Oh yeah. 55 kills. Oh, they got a great shot at the back of this general. A great shot. Wolfgang! We're all Wolfgang fans today. Let's go. Don't go out quiet quietly. Finish on a win. Finish this tournament on a win. Let's go. Let's go. Now they're going to push around the flank, and that's going to be about it. That's it, guys. Wolfgang is victorious. And that is such good news for the Crimson Chickens, because we have a fighting chance. That means the fate, the fate of our placement in the playoffs is in our hands. We don't, we don't have to... Nobody has to lose or win for us to get in the playoffs. It's either we win... Or we lose in that matchup. Wow, okay. So let's end this replay. So here it is. Um, nice job by Wolfgang for getting the victory there. And unfortunately for Wolfgang, they eliminate themselves. Well, they, don't, they, don't, well, they just didn't fight for enough points. Uh, if they got to 10 points, I don't know how that would work because they would tie. I think it's whoever has the better record. But I think they have the same record. Uh, but anyways, they end up with nine points. That means that they are out of the tournament officially. But they did a great job here. They ended strong, which is what anyone could ask for. Some some mistakes from the Bears. The Scorpion not getting any kills. That that sucked. It's just basically a waste of money. Um, yeah, I would say that was... It was a good good effort, good try. They were playing, you know, Sparta's really tough to attack with, you know. Um, but yeah, this was a good fight. I really enjoyed it. So now, guys, that we're at the end of this video, let us analyze how many points we need to get into the playoffs. All right, so here it is. Here is the final. Uh, the, this is where we're at in terms of points. Right now, we're in dead last. But... We're playing Ersas, Ersas uh, for the final round. That will be the last match. And basically, this last match will determine who goes into the playoffs. Uh, there could be a possibility where somehow, maybe with a push through, someone loses points and winged Wamsars get in. But it's very unlikely. Now, right now we have five points. So that means we have to get five points and win both matches. We have to win both matches because... Um, 
we gotta have I think if we tie with the Winged Wimsars, they're at ten points. So if we tie with them, uh they will if we tie but only win one match, I think they beat us because they beat us to to nothing. But if we get a better record than them, so if we win both games, we'll get we'll be four and four. That will be the best record for out of everyone but the Gorilla Boys. So that would put us in the play. We might have the same amount of points, but we'd have the better record, and so we'd get. So we need to get five points to win and get into the playoffs. Crimson Ch or uh, the Bears, they have a little bit easier of a path. They only need one point, right? That that's all they need. One point in one win. Well, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Anyways, basically, here's what it comes down to. We gotta win both matches. All right. And we gotta get at least five points. That's it. That's all we have to do. And we're in, guys. We can do this. You gotta believe. Um, but yeah. Yeah, as you can tell, Wolfgang's out of the tournament because he only has nine. Unless there's like a wild card and maybe a third. Uh, uh, like one of these like non top two teams can make it in which i guess is a possibility but uh yeah that's gonna wrap it up guys um the big matchup i think we're playing on sunday is when we're playing the bears so we will know then it's gonna be intense thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time